so hello guys welcome to another video today we are going to make a navigation hover effects as you can see that it's a simple navigation when I hover one item you can see that there is a background but it is not a simple background so whenever I will move to another item you can see that the background is coming with the cursor no matter how the navigation size is it's covering all it so it's looking very smooth more than our classic background so I think you will like the animation so let's see how we can make this animation So here as you can see that here is my HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. So first of all let's create a boilerplate and give it a title of mapbar animation. And here in the body let's create a header tag. And in this header tag let's create a div with a class of map list. So in this nav list, we will have our unordered list and in the ul, I will have a list and in the list item, I will have an anchor tag and first item will be the home. So let's create some more about and let's say contact and also shop. So that's fine. So let's open it with our live server. So here as you can see that here is my navigation list. So let's add the style sheet. And in the style sheet, first of all, let's remove all the unexpected gap. So padding will be zero and margin will be zero and box sizing will be border box so as you can see that we removed all the unexpected gap so in the HTML let's give it a font family of Montserrat and also let's give it a fallback font family which is sans serif and font size will be 10 pixel so you can see that so after that let's come to the header and say width will be 100% and height will be auto and also margin will be 0 auto and display will be flex and also justify content center and align items center so you can see that now our navigation now in center so let's go to the under the header let's go to nav list and here let's say height will be auto and width will be auto and display will be flex and justify content center and align items center and let's say margin top will be 20 pixel so we will have a little bit of gap from the top so after that let's go to the ul unordered list so in the header nav list unordered list so here i will say display will be flex and justify content center and align items center now you can see that all the items now in our flex box in a row as you can see that so after that let's style the list item so let's say in the header nav list 
and ul ally so here i will say list style will be none and also font size will be not here also say font size will be 2rem so if i save now you can see that all the bullet points are removed and our font size is now 20 pixel now say color will be black and also padding for the top and bottom 10 pixel and 25 pixel for the left and right so as you can see that now we have some gap so after that let's go to the actually we will not give the padding here so let's actually grab it from here and actually let's give it to the anchor tag so padding will be not here so padding will be there so padding let's set 10 pixel for the top and bottom and let's set 25 pixel for the left and right so it will be applied in the anchor tag so in the ally let's uh, also font size so let's copy from here and paste it here so that will be fine so also color will be in our anchor tag so here i will say height will be auto so that's fine so after that let's go to the style and remove the underline as you can see so i can say text decoration will be none so that's fine so what i need now is i need to create a overlay for the moving background so for that what i need is so in the nav list we have now ul so in the nav list we have this ul so what i need is in the nav list i will have another child so it will be a div with a class of overlay so that's it so let's make it and here let's style that so let's say header nav list and grab the overlay and here let's say position will be absolute and height will be let's say 10 pixel and width will be 100 pixel and let's say background color will be this one and z index will be minus one we are giving z index so that we can click the link we want to click our navigation link if you don't give it a minus z index it will, we can't click the navigation link that's why we need to give it a minus z index so after that let's say transition so that we have a smooth transition and yes it will be left for the also width and also for the opacity and now if i save now you can see that here is our overlay so by default i will say opacity will be zero and now come to the javascript part so before that let's actually add the javascript here so let's say source sorry a script with source so let's say app.js so now in the javascript what i need to do i need to first of all grab the overlay so let's say overlay is equals to document dot query selector and here i will say header and nav list and overlay and that's our overlay so let's also grab the nav list so let's say nav list is equals to document dot query selector and here i'll say query selector all so i will actually grab all the navigation list so here i will say header 
and naplist and tul and ally i will grab all the ally now if i come to mozilla developer here in the developer.mozilla.org if i come and search for get bounding client rectangle now you can see that what we can do that element dot get bounding client rectangle and it will give us the top position the left position the bottom and right and also it will give us the height and the width of our element so basically we will get all the position of our element if we give element dot get bounding client rectangle so we will use it in our navigation so for that first of all what i need is in the nav list i will say a for each loop so nav list dot for each and every list item as a say list not like not like that so let's say list item so here what i need is i need to say that list item will have a add even listener and it will be a mouse over and let's create the function and in this mouse over event i will say that overlay dot class list dot add a class which is let's say uh, the name of the class will be the active so that's a good name so now if i come and inspect and if you notice here in the header in the overlay whenever i will hover the nav list there is a class of active but whenever i will hover out the class is still there let's remove it when i hover out so let's copy that and duplicate it and in this time let's say the event will be the mouse out and it will be a remove method so if i save now you can see that when i hover there is active when i mouse out there is no active class anymore here if you notice you can see that when i hover there is active when i mouse out there is no active class anymore so that's fine so after that let's create a position variable and here i will store all the position for each of our list item so for the position what i need to use is the bounding client rectangle so for that what i need to do is i need to say list item dot get actually that is get bounding client rectangle so what it will do it will get the item and give us all the position information so i will store it in the position so now according to this position i will position our overlay so for that what i need to say is overlay dot left will be so overlay dot style dot dot left will be our position dot x now if i save now you can see that our overlay will move so notice this overlay whenever now we are in home so actually we need to add a pixel because in css everything count so now if you notice this overlay when i hover there is a left value as you can see that now our overlay is moving according to our navigation list item so if i hover about now it's saying that the left will be the 187 so 178 now it's saying that the left will be 391 and it's working fine so it's giving us the left value and we are setting the left value into the overlay so that's fine so also let's say the overlay top so overlay dot style dot top 
so the top value will be the position so in the position we will also have a y value we can use it as a top of our overlay so if i save now so you can see that there will be a also top value now you can see that top is 20 pixel it's not changing because every list item is same amount of top as you can see that it's same amount from the top same amount from the top so that's why it's not changing so after that let's have our height and width so for that what i can say is overlay dot style dot height so let's say the height will be so let's say position so there is a height also so i'll say height dot pixel so now you can see that if you notice there is also a height property as you can see height 44 pixel so it's also not changing because every list item is having a similar amount of height though that's why it's still 44 pixel for all list item but width will be changed so let's say the width so width and also in the position dot width so if i save now you can see that we have a width of 111 if i come here now you can see that it's changing 112 if i come here 113 so it's changing according to our list item if our list item is big our div overlay width will be also big so that's looking fine so now our overlay is moving correctly so last thing what we need to do is we need to give it an opacity of one so what i can say is whenever i will hover you can see that there is an active class so we can style it with this active class so for that what we can do is header dot nav list dot overlay and let's say opacity will be one whenever this overlay will have a class of active okay now you can see that we have this overlay visible as a background and whenever i will hover other one is changing the left is changing its width also top and height and we can see it as a background and that's looking perfectly fine so that's fine so let's add a big list item so that we can test it so in this list item let's say portfolio slash work so if i save now if i come here and let's also give it some zoom and this is our final test it's looking fine 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 and if i come to this big list item it's also looking fine so you can see that this smooth ui is looking much much better than our basic and old background so that is the idea for this behind as you can see that it's working fine so that's the idea you can do amazing thing with this animation so if you do let me know in our websifer community in the facebook group i will see and so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video and if you want to see more please do subscribe the channel and let us know what kind of video you want next i will see you in the next video till then bye bye khuda hafiz